You guys already got what's yours this week. Molchat, we're here to keep order and that don't come free. It's getting colder, so the price is getting higher. Hey, T. Nice boots. Are they warm? Actually, I have particularly warm boots. Thanks. And sooner or later, these might kick their arses. Don't tempt me, Luca. Don't tempt me. Give me a sec. I've got to sort out formalities with this tourist. It's your Snami. We are the Tsar soldiers. Those don't look like soldiers' faces. Closer to thieves. I don't think he'll talk to us voluntarily. The Ruski is right. They won't report us. They'll be too embarrassed to admit some cripple got the better of them. Good boy. Forgive me, sir. Is your name Grigory Efimovich Rasputin? I forgive you. I'm sorry. It's just I've been looking for you for a very long time, and... And you expected a thinking simpleton. An illiterate who swindles sick people and claims he can speak to God himself. I already said I forgive you. Yes, I've heard. Especially in Petersburg. I've also heard about the healings. Even hopeless cases. Inexplicable ones. And what do you believe in? If you help me, I'll believe all of it. And please believe me when I say I've tried everything short of a miracle. And I know the meaning of that word. I'm a thaumaturge. Where are you coming from? I'm from Warsaw. So, from Russia? Poland. From which Poland? The Russian one, the German one? Or the part that belongs to Austria? From Warsaw. Do you have a name? Viktor Shulsky. On my path, I've already come across people who've lied to me about their problems, and then gone around calling me a charlatan. After them, others arrived, with pitchforks and torches, and I had to endure insults and spit in my face, or flee for my life. And now you say you're a wizard from an imaginary country that no one has seen on a map in over a hundred years. 
Forgive my amusement. I haven't had my first coffee yet. I forgive you, and I'm still asking for help. Prove your thaumaturge, and I'll hear what you have to say. That's partly the issue I wanted to speak to you about. Does that mean you give up? That means I'll try, but I, I don't know. All right, all right. I've met a few of your kind, so I know what you're capable of. Find something in this tavern that belongs to me, and tell me something only I could know. First, I need to have something personal that belongs to you to learn your trace. It's a sort of pattern I would use to recognize the other objects. Smell this. I'll return to you in a moment. I can hardly wait. Let's take a look around. Who would have thought there were such layers of passion within him? Well, you're a zealous man. It permeates every level of your personality, your faith, your abilities. Not such an impressive discovery. I haven't finished yet. In Petersburg, you left behind a very devoted and very young lady-in-waiting. At least one, my friend. Have a seat. Tell me again, why were you looking for me? I can't help but ask you about that young lady from Petersburg. Careful, I'm starting to like you. But not enough to tell you about Petersburg. How do you think I might help you? A few years ago, I attempted to catch a wild salutor, and that ended with me losing contact with my first salutor. That means I can't develop my abilities. I know that my Uber is there. Sometimes he shows himself, but I can't feel the link anymore. Generally speaking, I'm losing it more and more each day. If it disappears, my mind, I'll lose my sense of reality. I'll fall into madness. I don't know if I can help you. I don't have much dignity left. I'm prepared to beg for your help. That won't be necessary, Victor. I meant I don't know if I'm able to help you. My gift is something I've received from God. Some I've helped, others I can't say and I've never treated a thaumaturge. Maybe just do the same with me as with the others. We can try. Focus on my voice. You are safe. As long as you can hear my voice, you are safe. Let me gaze into your mind. Let me see through your eyes. Let me Where... where am I? Rasputin! There's no one in here. I need to 
get out of here. What is this sound? Shackles? You're blind. You've never grasped the science of spotting the perfectly obvious. Can you still not see? What do I supposedly not see? Flaw clouds your vision. It always has. Pride. Your damned pride and sense of superiority. I must have gotten that from you, father. You lose, idiot. You always do. You're even losing against yourself. You can't see, but can you at least hear? You're weak, stupid, and blind. Do you hear me? Do you? Do you? I can see, Father. Clearly. Will you be lying there much longer? I wanted to sweep. Where's Rasputin? <laughs> In the cemetery, chasing away evil spirits and giving people comfort. You all right? <sighs> yes, yes. Absolutely. <sighs> I wanted to sweep. I'm just heading out. It's so good to see you again. And something else. I saw him clear as day. It wasn't a vision. It was a salutar, unbound by a pact. A wild one. And if so, that means there's someone in the village with a flaw that's attracting it. You talking to me? I was praying. I wanted to sweep. I felt something. Where is it? What do we have here? They'll go gawk, but without lifting a finger. Just Vesna will bring it, Vesna will help. But if Vesna needs help with something, there's nobody to be found. Hmm. That's not yours, don't touch! All these newcomers causing more problems. <laughs> 